But I want to speak to Mistra first. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, it's it's still... It's going back to pets and things, Catherine. It's still awfully sad. Um, Lal, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for dropping by the stream. I know you've been uh, been enjoying the videos that we've been putting out, so that's good. Nice to have you here. Um, yeah, t -Pod seems to know what he's on about. Um, I, I had a feeling that we would be under some not-known timescale with something like that, and I don't know how long it's been, but it is what it is. Um, thankfully, it wasn't Karlak or Shadowheart, is all I'll say. Um, yeah. And Lal, I'm sorry to hear about your, your cat as well. Uh, it's... Yeah. Animals touches so much through our lives when we have them as pets and they just become family members, don't they? It's sad when they pass. But sadly, it's something that every every household will feel. It's still heartbreaking, though. Right. Is there anything in here that I need that we've picked up and sent to camp? Where's a Darian stuff? That's books. Oh, that's Lazelle's stuff. Can I send that to Karlak? Was this Astarian stuff? Yeah. Where's his armor? Elven chain. Can't send that to Will. That needs to go to Will. While hiding, that doesn't really work for anybody else. Spring step. Oh, look at these clothes this Darian was carrying around with him. Our family ring. Why have we got that? Right, I'll have them. And that, pick up. Send them to Shadow Heart, send them to Gale. Send that to Gale. What's that? Mysterious Elixir. Uh, okay. Gale. That is all, but I don't remember having that. Mind you, we did live a lot of stuff. So that's a Starian. Nobody's going anywhere near that. There's nothing here, There's nothing here. I don't know why we have a bedroll. Probably Starians. Uh, I'm not going to use that. Uh, right, okay. So we've got everything we need. Uh, the question is, what do we do next? I want to speak to Helsig. I don't know where they are. If we do Wizard of Waterdeep... We can then drop Gale, take Jahira, and have an owlbear, a dinosaur, and go speak to Nine Fingers, which is this one. No, that's the Stone Lord. But we need nine fingers anyway. We need to find Dribbles. I don't know where Dribbles is. I don't know. Uh, okay. 
And I want Minsk, because he's voiced by one of my favorite people in the world. Not that I've ever met them, but they just seem so blaming genuine. Right, let's do... Let's... Gale. Let's get Gale out of the way. And then we're going to have Jahira for a while. Yeah, Starion's voice acting... I mean, all the voice acting is great, but I, I love a Starion's... His delivery is perfect. Is it Neil... I can't remember what he's called, what his surname is. He's apparently streaming Baldur's Gate 3 on his own. Um, they were saying in Mark's chat. And he... Oh, we need to go there as well with Will. Um... That one, I think. Um, so he's getting all the voice actors and things on to help him. It sounds like fun playthrough. Once I've done my first playthrough, I'm going to watch stuff like that, but I've been staying away. Um, I don't want any spoilers. I don't want to see people doing things differently while I'm still figuring this out. Interviews, politics, gossip. All of it gets in that right, who have we got? That's where... Oh, okay. I want Karlak with me for that. We do need to do the Hag Survivors. We still need to save the stupid artist. Let's go do Mistra. I mean, I don't know what Gail's going to do with Mistra, but let's go see Mistra. Um, yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is just a beautiful, beautiful game of pure passion and dedication. I cannot praise it enough. Um... Games of this genre I've always enjoyed, but I've never really, like, connected with on a level that I have with this. It is... Depending how it sticks the landing and where we go from here, but just the amount of choice and things that you have to make this playthrough your own, different to everybody else who plays it, this is vastly becoming my favourite game I've ever played. I didn't say Todd was going to do Mistra. I said we were going to go and... I said we were going to go and do Mistra. Shadow Art probably wouldn't care. She's... She's fairly open-minded when it comes to sexuality and stuff. I mean, we could ask her. If it crops up. We could take Shadow Art to see the twins. That might be an interesting... Uh, Mistra's likeness. Some time since I stood before her in a place like this. How like is it? I'm assuming the goddess of magic is fairly attractive. But we know what they're like with these statues. I mean, everybody in this game is attractive, let's be honest. Statue of Helm. Who's Helm? You see an altar dedicated to Helm the Vigilant. Read the inscription on the altar. Helm the Watcher is a guardian god dedicated to the preservation of order. Many turn to him in troubled times. Make your donation to him and you'll likely feel more vigilant, more resilient to the unexpected. Okay, that's a good idea. Make an offering. Do you want a crowbar? Does he like hands? I'm a hunter, right? No, you know what? I'm going to give you my dagger, my prized dagger, Wargfang. Your offering is accepted, but more evidence of devotion is required. And that's why I hate gods. Where is it? He's just taken it. Right, well, screw you. Bloody gods. Is that out? That's out, yeah. Alright, Mistra, what have you got for me? 
Todd's impatient. There's people to kill. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? No, I don't do magic. Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. Oh. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure undiluted weave. I only have to reach out and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Go on then, Gail. We'll be here waiting for you when you're finished. Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. I don't think she's that kind of goddess. Thankfully not. Though she's not been averse to demanding the odd human sacrifice in recent days, has she? It's only yours. When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. That's I grim. I wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Why do you... He still loves her, doesn't he? Do you know what you're going to say to her? During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Look, I know we've put his intelligence up by one, but I'm still at a negative here. <laughs> Don't give anything away. Just find out what she has to say. You'd make a fine three-dragon anti-player, you know? I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high-risk round of three-dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight. And then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. That's if you Wait come back. Me. Please. Do we get to see this? Or do you have to play as Gail to see this? Because that would be really cool. Yeah, he's definitely infatuated. He likes Todd, though. Gale Everyone likes Todd. Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. <laughs> but I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. She doesn't look like a statue. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? That was my fault. Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover. My chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity. Nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. I won't let that happen. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. 
but we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsus to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. That's the best offer we've had for the crown. Yeah, I expected her hair to be all like flowing. Back on mortal soil once more. I can't believe I saw her. After all this time. Yes, I'm sure it was memorable. But did she tell us anything useful? She gave us the secret of the orb's power. I call that extremely useful knowledge to have. The Carsite Weave. Within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Okay, now dumb it down for Todd. Because you acted the idiot and paid the price for it too. As always, I endeavor to be invigorated yeah. by your candor rather than eviscerated by it. Blunt, <laughs> as your summation is, it's correct. I dared to call myself an archmage while acting the apprentice. The hallmarks of a most excellent idiot, unfortunately. At least now I'm armed with the truth and Mistress' expectations. Sounds like the door to redemption is open at last. All I have to do is walk through it, carrying the crown of Carsus. I'm not against it. Then we need to take this chance. You deserve to be cured, Gail. Thank you. There aren't many I'd trust to stand beside me on such a journey. Fewer still who would do so because they believed I deserved such a chance. If I can promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. Good. I will not let you down. You better not. Now. I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? As long as I'm not picking up the tab. Uh, right, so. Yeah. Gale's a problem. Gale is a problem. His next part of the quest is to claim the crown of Carsus. The crown that everybody is wanting. And I am suspecting we can use the crown to fix Karlak if we can fix Karlak. I want to fix Karlak. Strength to endure and the courage to resist. So may it. Good talk, though. That was fascinating. Good catch on the earring as well. Yeah, Gail and Mistra do have the same earrings. Um, okay. There's so much going on in Act 3. It's almost overwhelming. What's on your mind? You let Volo take your... Uh, yeah. I mean, I was tempted. Uh, I can't remember what it does. 
Um, but it's a fascinating scene, and it's a very grim scene. When Volo um, tries to remove your tadpole. Let's put it that way. I want you to remain in camp. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Um, I'll definitely need you I'll later. Be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Um, you go chat up Halzin. You'd probably get on. He has muscles like Todd. Uh, Jahira, Kalak's brilliant. I do adore Kalak. But one playthrough that we'll do Far will be a Kalak romance. But I will not be cleaning up whatever mess she makes of him for it. <laughs> well, Gail likes to get messy when it comes to Mistra, so... Uh, we've already done this. Tell her about the encounter with Nine Fingers. Ah. I know what she speaks of. Uh, tell me. So Bell's Chosen is a doppelganger. Yep. <laughs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. Hopefully both. You seem to have experience with doppelgangers. Uh, this all begins to ring a little too familiar for my liking. Is this like the second game, then? The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. I've just realized something from our last stream. As you wish. Join me. Um, we may have... Not that I'm bothered. Work I'm absolutely done. not bothered by it. But we may have uh, crippled our alliance with... Gotash already. What are you wearing? You have the two weapon fighting guns. Nice. You also have crap boots. Mm, it's not the worst armor. Mm, seven temporary hit points isn't really enough. Arcane acuity is good. I'm happy with your weapons. Uh, what is she? She's level 10. Let's get leveled up. Um, she's in one and two, is she? Yeah. Um, she's, um... Is she, like, 90 now or something, does she say? At some point? Uh... We are seeing quite a bit of stun at the minute. Dominate Beast. I don't think that's worth it. Plague Insect, maybe? Bark Skin can go. Daylight will keep. Ice Storm, she loves using. Sunbeam is always good. Wind Walk. Transform yourself and all nearby party members into tiny clouds of mist to avoid attacks. Interesting. Wall of Thorns. Huh. Uh, I don't know how many spell shot spell slots she's got. Let's take Wall of Thorns, see what that does. I'm tempted to take Hero's Feast. How long does that last? Doesn't tell me. Probably ten turns. Bark skin is until a long rest. Stone skin is until a long rest. Uh, interesting. Is 
That could be a really good get out of jail free card. Mm. Take Sunbeam though. She's very righteous. Take Sunbeam. What do we get? Level 12. She does have a little bit of Lagatha about her. Yeah, you're right. Take the wind one. Uh, she's a druid, so can we change her spells at camp? We should be able to. And feet-wise, she has the gloves that mean she adds... Yes, she does. Is there anything that boosts your wisdom? I don't think there is. Defensive duelist. She wields two finesse weapons. It does specify a finesse weapon. Plus two. Why is it so... I'll tell you why this annoys me so much. Because there's so many feats that I want to play around with. But this annoys me so much because... You've got to use the standard array, and I hate the standard array. I'd rather just roll it and go with whatever negatives we get. That's charisma. Oh, can you use medium armor? Right, you need to swing by the camp box because there might be something good. Martial Adept is so tempting, having seen what that does with Shadow Heart. She doesn't have a plus three, so that's pointless. That is her casting, but she doesn't fight with it. Uh, yeah, the complexity is nuts. So much. Um, I'm tempted to do alert. Because it fits a character. Yeah, I'm going to do alert because it fits a character more than anything else. She's seen enough. She's been ambushed enough times. She now can't be surprised. I think that's pretty fair. How many spell slots do you have? You only have one level six. So... Keep... Heal... And take... You already have that. Keep heal. Sleek storm. She does like her icy stuff. Take Call Lightning. We'll see what happens. Call Lightning could be good. No rest. Be you wicked or wise. I really do think the next playthrough of this that we do, because there's going to be multiple playthroughs. Let's be honest. There's so, so much you can do in this game. Useful, I hope. Uh, I don't know if it's possible. We might have to burn one feat for a uh, leveling up spell um, ability points potentially. I did want that to go to Will, but Will isn't an elf, and she is. Is she proficient with that? Um, I think we're going to go... Let's... Mm -hmm. 
going on. And we play it as sort of role play. We just take perks that fit what we're doing. That should maybe go to Gale. Uh, if she dashes or makes a similar action in combat, they should probably go to Karlak. You take that. I want Will to have that. I also want to do a playthrough where we, we take Gale and we keep Gale around a bit. So 